G'day folks, in this video we're just going to do a monthly roundup of my aquaponic system with the solar power, how everything's going and what I'm growing, what I'm um, seeds I'm raising, all that type of stuff. So, I thought I'd bring you along and give you a little look. I'll start at the sweet potato bed. Um, which is, as you can see, going pretty well. The slip was planted in this grow bed in the corner here. So it was planted in that corner and growing through there into a pot of vegetable potting mix. Um, the potting mix doesn't get watered. The water comes from this grow bed. So grow bed's basically a surrogate to the plant that's in this pot so we're coming towards the end of um, autumn I'll probably um, start picking that out soon and see what's in there um, but we'll see how we go and we've I've got time um, otherwise sweet potatoes going good I do have the slip here somewhere so it's a, a sweet potato Let's see that sweet potato there. That's the one I've planted and going to see how it's going. So, like I said, it's going quite well. I've cut probably half of the foliage off this. It was just getting way too out of control. Um, as you can see, it's still running like mad. So... Yeah, still running like mad. Um, otherwise going well. Um, grow bed number, let's call this number one. Um, down here two and the other one three. Right down to the fish tank. So grow bed number one, still got a few cucumbers coming. I'll get a few late cucumbers off it. Um, there's probably, I don't know, about six. Six there I could see. So there's um, one plant in each grow bed here at the moment. So we didn't do too bad this summer with them. Um, after we had that disaster with the heat, um, and I replanted, this is the Roma tomatoes, that are my late ones that I planted in. As you can see, absolutely loaded. I'm absolutely pleased with the way it's growing. Um, starting to ripen up now which is good but have a look at the size size of these ones here they're just to my hand um, if you can see them to my hand they're actually enormous Roma tomatoes same as the ones around here so like that one so yeah they're actually going quite nice um, pruned a heap of the bottom foliage off it just to get it to grow a little bit better. On to bed number two. So this is the second bed to the grow bed. You can see more cucumbers coming on here. These are a um, long green cucumber. Um, had great success with them this year. Got a lot of cucumbers off them. It's starting to, uh, yeah, starting to die off now. This cold weather coming, but um, yeah, that's grow bed number one. Now grow bed number two. Let's start off with the snake beans. I'm growing these for seed this year. I'll be growing them to eat next year. I just want some fresh seed because the seed I had was more than um, probably six, seven years old maybe. So I'm um, just growing these ones to get some more seed, fresh seed coming on. Um, so yep, snake beans are growing quite nicely. Some nice young ones coming back through there. Um, another one coming on there. So yeah, and it's only one plant in the corner here, just to get enough seed off it. 
So grow bed number two has more Roma tomatoes in there. Um, these are going quite nicely too. Um, pushing the shake cloth up. This is the late tomatoes I put in because I lost my first tomatoes with um, the heat we had. The heat just got, we had two days of uh, 50 here. Um, over 50 so I'll put that down in Fahrenheit for you. Um, got a couple of cherry tomato plants up the front here. So as you can see all the little cherries coming on um, down here. But as for tomato crop there's just that much crop on there I'm just so pleased and how this come back and actually grew so fast to give me a crop this year otherwise I wouldn't have had a crop at all um, that nice little bundle there you know look at the size of these Roma tomatoes They're just incredible so that's basically bed number two it's just all Roma tomatoes and a couple of um, cherry tomatoes in there Coming on to bed three is, I've just upgraded this bed and extended the legs and replanted it, so it's got um, new plants in there. I've got, in this side of the bed, we've got some cauliflowers growing. Um, they're just starting to take off now. They've been in for probably uh, maybe four days, four or five days. And um, this side we've got some broccoli plants in this side, so yep, growing quite nicely. No you don't. I need your assistance. Yeah, so I've basically rebuilt it, pushed it back to the fence, and I've made this one high, I'll grow the smaller vegetables in it but I've made this one high I can put that sump tank slide that in underneath there so the sump tank will end up under there and I can get two fish tanks in there and my two fish tanks and in between the two fish tanks um, or actually fish tank there and a fish tank fish tank there fish tank there and my filtration system in there and I'll run these grow beds down along the fence. There'll be four or five grow beds along that fence. And then another four or five grow beds along there with a walkway down the middle. Um, and that would be the completion of this aquaponics system. So everything's growing well. That is finished. I've put the... Um, netting around it to stop the white butterflies getting into me collies and broccoli um, sump tank and me pump are going well I have got yabbies in here as well so they're hiding it's a bit cold for them now but there is yabbies in there to clean up whatever fish food gets through the duckweed um, I've just finished building their new home there will be a video on their new duckweed pond that I've built on a stand to grow duckweed for my jade perch and for I think there's five goldfish in there as well my filter is working fine um, tomorrow is the clean out so I will be cleaning it out tomorrow but as you can see it picks up pretty much all the crap from the fish tank so I'm quite happy with it um, there goes the new grow bed system actually I didn't show you that I'm getting rid of this pipe that goes along here this pipe and my new system is going to be with the pipe where like that down the back and each each sort of to grow bed like this will have its own pipe back to the sump tank and end up like that to give me a heap of new oxygen into the water.
So basically that's the way I'm setting up my grow beds now. And right, this is all portable, I can break it down pretty quickly and move it if I need to. I am renting here so this is all designed for shifting easy. Um, as for the fish tank, it's going quite good. The Venturi still working. Um, I've had no problems with it. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. Fish tank's currently sitting there. Uh, let me see. Here is 18.4. Was uh, 15.3 this morning. I turned on the solar hot water system I made. I've done a video on that too. Um, the solar hot water system is up in the temperature at least 3 to 4 degrees in my fish tank. Um, running it through here where I can adjust it if I need to um, turn it off fast or slow. So it works quite well. Um, 12 volt pump off of eBay um, is enough to run it. I will be putting it on the roof um, as soon as I get a clear piece of glass for it. I did have um, uh, some glass that wasn't appropriate, so I've got to get some clear glass for it. Um, fish wise, don't know if we can see the fish. Oh, yep, there we go. The jade perch and goldfish are doing well. Um, eating like horses, I call them vultures, they come up and grab everything so fast. Um, solids lifting pipes working well. That's my homemade ranchery. Look, I could show you it, but there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to make them. This was just made out of bits I had in the um, shed. So yeah, I'm quite happy with the fish and yep, they're growing quite nicely. Um, I'll have to look up how old they are. I'm not sure when I got them. I'll have to have a look. I'll put it down in the, put it up on the screen somewhere for you. Um, basically, that's my system up to date, is the way it's going, that's my fish food, I mulch my fish food down, it comes in pellets and I mulch it down for them, and um, when they get a bit older then I won't, but otherwise that's everything um, that's going on, as you can see I'm going to get a good crop of tomatoes out of that, which I'm quite pleased with, and there will be more videos coming on. I've got a video on my new um, duckweed pond and stand I've built for it out of a Blue 44. Um, there's also a video on me building my solar water heater for the fish tank, which I'm quite pleased with. So folks, any questions, comments, please put them down in the comment section, folks. Um, hope you're all doing well in the lockdown and staying safe um yeah how much you know what else can i say stay safe and i shall catch you later folks cheers <laughs>